I'm down in Brandon Perry's basement. So we are looking at a, this is a 100,000 BTU York furnace with a three ton York coil sitting on top of it. So as you can see, this is a high efficiency York furnace. Um, intake is right here, vents up, vents out, goes right out the wall here. Um, so we're going to look at a few different options. First option being just replacing the air conditioner and air conditioning coil. Um, he doesn't hasn't had any issues with the furnace and then we're also going to give a full system option for the air conditioner uh, furnace. Um, we are going to look at replacing, uh, so if we do the full system, uh, we'll replace the return drop from the uh, bottom of the ductwork down, 5 inch media cabinet pulling into our side return. Um, furnace can come out through the walkout in the basement, same thing with the air conditioning coil, our refrigerant lines run up. It is an unfinished basement, but the refrigerant lines are sized properly so we can flush them out. Um, all of our condensates, it looks like our condensate lines run over here. Um, this direction to a floor drain right here. So rerun a new condensate line um, over to the floor drain. And we'll have to make a new supply plenum up to our main supply trunk. Um, but um, that being said, fairly straightforward, whether it is just an AC coil or full system, uh, fairly straightforward swap out. Um, oh, one additional thing from a return perspective. So we are a little bit short on return air. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at just cutting in a very small, um, don't wanna take too much from the basement, but like a, like a four by six. Um, whether, and this is whether we do just the AC coil or the full system, just a really small four by six return uh, right here to pull a little bit of return from the basement to help uh, pull back some air and so we're able to push out a little bit more to the second floor um, and allow us to circulate a little bit of this air from the basement um, to condition it. And that's it.